just so you can see, this is the this is the external, the one that goes on the outside. Of course, cleaning that's not going to matter because it's going to get all icky anyway. Again, uh, but the inside of this was all caked, and basically all I did was I've got a parts dish from you know uh, Pittsburgh, so it's probably Harbor Freight, and this is the uh, this what's in here is brake fluid or sorry brake cleaner just this uh, stuff that I was using to clean off the engine um, but you can see I've got it faced down so it soaks in there and uh, prior to pulling this one out which is the external that's the internal I'm not sure if it matters but I'm gonna put them back in reverse as needed um, the brake fluid was all evaporated by the time I took this one out, but it's been almost a week. So I'm not going to let that one soak quite as long. I just want it to get in there and and get rid of the grunge that's on there. And uh, we'll go to that point. All right, so I cleaned this one up. I did use a just a buffer wheel. Rubbed it on my lip, making sure it wasn't too rough to catch the belt. It did blow off a lot of the coolant that was sitting here. Um, so I'm just going to put this back on. This is the inner, obviously. Just got to find the sweet spot. And obviously this doesn't have to write on the key. So if you get any oil on the teeth here, you want to be sure and definitely um, clean that off before you put the belt on. And the inside has this ring and then the outside of course has that mark. Just kind of feel my way on that. And there you go. Like that. That goes right back on. I'm gonna try and spray this off and then spray off whatever's left over. Not much left in this can. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry it off using an air. Just gonna lightly dry this off here. And then we're going to install the water pump. Obviously we need to dry that off. I had sprayed air on this earlier, so it splashed water everywhere. But I have a nice new Gates lifetime warranty. I like Gates products. Being in the business for 30 years, it's uh, really nice to have some lifetime warranty products even though those are a pain to get to um, and shop around online uh, even Amazon uh, I think 
think I probably ended up getting mine through Amazon. Take it to that point, and we'll view it from a different from a different camera. Uh, putting the silicone on because you do have to let the water pump silicone sit for a bit. All right, so our next project, we've cleaned this off. We've inspected behind. We've put the water pump on that's drying. I'm going to put the the new tensioner and spring on. I'm sure that this is right here. Okay. And uh, you want to be sure and line that up. There's a bolt in here that holds the spring pretty much steady. And this is the new spring that I got. It's actually a Gen Nissan Genuine part. Got it from part PartsGeek.com. And I will... It was with shipping and everything was... The part was five bucks, but shipping and insurance and everything and a four-year warranty on the spring... Um, which is probably going to be a lifetime with Nissan parts. Um, was like twenty, it was like nineteen dollars. So, and, but it did come pretty much right away. We've got the big and the thin. Of course, the thin goes on outside, and then the nut. And you can tell which side's usually out because it's usually the dirty side. Of course, both sides are dirty on this one, so and they're both rounded, so I don't think it matters which side. And they do say to put a thread lock on this. Um, if you plan on see what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on just enough to put the timing belt on. So I'm gonna bring that down. I'm going to tighten that up by hand. And that should hold it. So once the timing belt's on, then um, then I'll loosen this and have it come up. And since it's a new timing belt, I really don't have to adjust for anything other than making sure that our timing marks are still... Make sure our timing marks are still aligned. So, and again, I went with a Gates part. That's about as close to the manufacturer as you can get unless you want to get a manufacturer. And these are nice because these ones are marked left cam, right cam, and it tells you the line is where the where it goes. And then, of course, the the crank. And so. I'm going to line this up with the marks. Oops. Make sure that the marks are correct. And someone gave me a very good tech tip to get some clamps. I'm about welding clamps. Put them on the cam marks. clamps well these are welding clamps and I do some pretty big projects I mean, the clamp went on this timing mark here and clamp went on this cam timing mark here and those will stay still and of course then you want to bring the belt over and hopefully that mark hasn't left And I will get down underneath and make sure that that is lined up correctly. They said to make sure that it's right there. It's right there. So. Put it on one more. And that. 
13. So we will get back to you in just a minute. So to help out with this project, I'm going to place a, a Sharpie mark on where that's supposed to be. And so there's, that's telling me where, which one it needs to be on, which would be good. I'm actually going to readjust these to where they're down here, holding them onto the sides instead of the top. sure if I can push this down anymore because because it's a new tensioner and a new spring it's going to be a little bit harder than normal yeah there we go back it off as far as you can back it off and I'm gonna get in can I get in here saw someone else put this on later, which I might end up doing. Um, I'm actually going to adjust this out even more. to tension this all the way back. So that's what I'm going to do. And, oh, I see. And it's actually an Allen. So that, I just happen to have that right side of Allen right there. It's actually an Allen hole, believe it or not, or it's got yeah, detents in them. You can see that wants to come out. So I'm going to for this. This is that one. I'm going to bring this all the way out. I was going to do it finger tight, but I changed my mind. I should hold it. new belt so it's gonna be a little bit more it's gonna be tight. There's not gonna be any room for error here. It needs to go right there. There we go. And I'm gonna make sure that this is all lined up. So I'm gonna use the flashlight here. And that's where the mark is where I put the the little, the little sharpie mark would be better if you had yellow paint or something. And then I will show you the uh, marks on all of these. So we got the upper mark here that's lined up with this mark here. Probably can't see that though. The upper mark, and then. That mark is lined up pretty dang close with that other mark, just like the other one was. Couldn't be off too much. And this mark, there is a slight mark down here. Which is in line with the line that's on the belt. And that's it. And that's, that is the timing belt. With the water pump in. And uh, what we do is I'll remove that screw. We'll put lock thread on it uh, because it will tension itself over time. 
Uh, we will put this back in here really quick. safety clamps and then we will back this off so it can tension and then we will tighten it up and we'll look up the specs for that see how tight it actually needs to be oh I take that back I lied we'll take this off here just the nut. Just the nut. And I'm gonna put some lock thread on the put some blue lock thread on that. And we'll tighten it down to specs in just a second. So I've got this really old school, it's got the needle that's broken off, but I can pretty much tell how many foot pounds of torque. Bending at the end bend. Um, and then I just need that. Down there. And then we will put the blue thread lock. Tensioner nut, 32 to 43 foot pounds. 32 to 43 foot pounds. Put some blue thread lock on it. Not too much. I don't want any drip on this. This one doesn't ratchet. it. Should be, should be. I've got the other plate, external plate here that's I've cleaned off the inside really good. The outside doesn't really matter. And that's gonna stick on there, and as you can see, there's a slight taper on that on both of those ones. The back one's facing toward the oil pump, and the inside one is facing toward the front of the engine or the radiator. But, uh, yeah. I still have to clean the cover off before I replace the cover. But that's where we are. We got that belt on. Don't have to worry about this slipping. Anything slipping other than that might come off in a really good earthquake, I guess. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's about it.